Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee, and I wanted to talk to you guys about something. The price of gold and silver are going up. Well, at least I feel like the price of gold is kind of skyrocketing right now. Uh, about a week ago, I received an email newsletter from one of the people that I follow, or companies, I should say, that I follow, that deal in gold and silver. And the contents of that email basically stated that because of Brexit, the price of gold and silver, they think, or they predict, is going to skyrocket. Now, if you don't know what Brexit is, I don't know that much about it. All I know is that uh, the British voters voted to leave the European European Union. Now, what that has to do with the price of tea in China or the gold in the stock market, I have no idea. But what I do know is that it is beneficial to those of us who have been stacking gold and silver. So what I thought I would do today is get out my little... Um, what do you call that? Scale. And see just how much my gold and silver is worth uh, according to the prices of gold and silver right now. I'm very interested to find this out. I'm just looking at something. This rock right here used to have a gold... Um, it used to sit in a piece of gold jewelry and I don't know where that piece went because it hang from, hung from a necklace so it had like a, a bracket. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Anyway, so I've got my scale out right now and I am going to weigh up and see what I've got um, including the gold scrap that we were able to refine from our computer electronic parts. Um, this is my silver over here. This is gold that is 100%, sorry, some of this. This is gold that is 100% gold. We know it's, it's stamped on there. We've also tested it with our gold uh, testing solution. This has tested at gold. And then there's some here, well, I don't know why that's in there. There's a couple pieces in here that we know are gold also. I think someone got this confused when they were sticking it back in here. This is definitely gold. This is gold. Maybe the chain wasn't testing or something, but I know that this is gold. It's stamped on there. Maybe the charm wasn't testing. Nope, it's stamped on there as well. So that's definitely gold. Maybe it was mildly magnetic. Maybe that's what it was. Either way, and this is definitely gold. So that can go in here. This stuff, we're not sure about. It looks gold. It's not stamped gold anywhere. Um, and that's probably just gold plated there. But I was really hoping that this was gold. But I don't think that it is. I think we tested it and maybe it tested moderately. I can't remember. Alright, before I start rambling too much, let's just get into this. So, let me turn this on. I have, I have been thinking about possibly selling off some of this scrap gold, you know, because we could use the the help right now. So this is a piece of a bracelet that I found in a parking lot that got ran over. And there's also a couple of gold flakes in there from when I was a child and I traveled with my family and we stopped at a little roadside um, gold uh sloshing, um, digging out of the dirt and sloshing around in the pan panning, thank you, gold panning thing, and I actually got a couple of little tiny flecks, you can see them right there, of gold. Um, so this is coming in at 
for that. 2.3 grams. So the price of gold per ounce as I'm shooting this video is $1,375 an ounce. That comes down to $44 a gram. So if that's 2.3 grams, that would be $88 worth, worth of gold right there. So that's a good start. Now let's add my little charm that my mom got me years ago. I wouldn't sell this. Maybe we should leave the stuff that I know I won't sell off to the back. Um, this is a gift. It was a gift from my Nana, so I wouldn't be selling that. Um, this is. I believe I found this. I'm almost positive I found this. I thought maybe it was my wedding ring, but I'm pretty sure I broke my wedding ring years and years and years ago. Um, I'm going to start this over again. Um, well, let's just see how much the ring is itself. With the, It's got three small cubic zirconium uh, stones in there. So 1.1 ounces, so that would be another $44. I guess I'll do it separately and then we can do it all at once. <clears throat> Alright, that's not... Got a cheap scale. You can tell, can't ya? Yeah. Um, Alright, the little... I'm pretty sure I've been saying ounces and I totally mean grams. Hopefully you know that. Alright, so that's almost half a gram. Here's an earring with like an opal or something in it. So of course things that have stones in it, the weight's going to be a little off. Because it's accounting for the stone. So that's almost a gram. Earring I found in a parking lot. There's another $44 there. Here's a another earring. Oh my gosh, these two are stuck together. Another earring I found in a parking lot. One and a half grams, so that's probably 60 bucks. It's if I mean this if this is correct sixty dollars in gold in that one little earring now here is an earring from a pair that I had um, and when I bought these back in 2007 I paid ten dollars for this pair of earrings in 2012 when I went searching for a similar pair of earrings they were fifty dollars point two grams that's not very much point three Um, here's a chain another 44 almost $60 I guess Here, oh here's more of that piece of broken here's an earring half an ounce alright so let's put all of this together and see what we've got as far as our broken jewelry goes. Here's that. Oh no! Oh no! It fell in there. I lost it. So it'll be a little off, but that's all right. Come on, little tiny specks of gold. You all count. All of you. Alright, so if I was going to sell off this little chunk of gold, that is 10.7 grams. 10 times 44. Is that $440? Somewhere around there. Yeah. 440 bucks I could get for just this little bit of gold. 
I mean, that's that's the the price of it. So if I was going to go to a store and try to sell that off, chances are they're going to offer me half of that. So 220 bucks. Actually, that's not that great. I'm actually not. I'm not. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But for some reason, I thought when we did this a couple months ago, when gold prices were down at like 1100 and something, I felt like it was like 300 Or maybe it was, and I was thinking about melt price. Let's add, just for, you know, giggles. Oh, oh gosh. So 15.8 grams... 44 times 15, try to do this math really quick, like, $660 worth of gold right there, and I might get $300 for it. So that, to me, kind of would not be worth it. May I mean, in free gold, sure, this, other than these uh, couple of pieces right here, this is just scrap gold that the majority of this I found in parking lots on the ground or you know walking around places um, so that was all free gold let's take all this off and get this other little piece out that I lost it actually like fell into the scale like that is inside the scale now how am I supposed to get that out without breaking my scale Oh, that really, really worries me. Like, disturbs me is more like it. Now we're going to put the uh, computer scrap gold on here and just, we, I don't think we've weighed this yet. Just see what we actually got out of our little bit of computer scrap refining that we did not too long ago. And there is going to be some copper and stuff. This is not perfectly cleaned. That's not even registering. So that just goes to show you. I mean, it looks like a lot, but it's very, very, very light. Can I get this lighting a little better, maybe? It's just very bright on the um, gold. Uh, now I'm not sure how to get this off without losing it. So that's not even a gram. That's not even half a gram of gold try to do this is uh oh there we go that's like gold dust so it would take quite a bit of of that to make a um this table is not really straight okay next we are going to weigh my silver silver Spot price for silver ounce right now as I'm making the video is $20 an ounce and grams is 65 cents a gram. And I think I'm going to switch this over to ounces just because, uh, maybe. There we go. Just because I, I don't want to do the math, 65 cents on every gram. So this obviously has some jewels, stuffs in it. So that's half an ounce of silver. This is Italian silver. All right. These are some more jeweled pieces so that obviously it's going to the weight's going to be a little off because of the jewels. That's so pretty, isn't it? I found this. This little piece, <clears throat> excuse me, right here was sticking up out of the dirt. And I saw it and I dug it up and this is what I found. It is beautiful. Oops. Get back over there. Alright, I bought this little ring at the flea market. These are gold plated, but they're 925 silver underneath. Um, here's a little ring I found a long, long time ago. Another beautiful piece. It looks kind of antique -y, actually. I don't know if I can get the camera to zoom on it. No, it's not going to happen, but it's really pretty. Um, this has got some gold plating, but it's 925. Here's a 
earring, I'm pretty sure, it says 925 on the thingamajig. These, the things are 925. All this is silver. So 2.12 ounces of silver. That would be about $40 in silver right there. That's not bad for, I mean, I don't think I would sell this bracelet. That was a gift from my mother for my wedding day. Not that it holds any significance for my wedding. But it is a beautiful piece that she bought at a really unique store. It's um, a very unique piece. So I definitely don't think I would be selling that. And this ring here, I wouldn't want to sell. This piece I found in the parking lot when I was going to the Goodwill Pound Store or whatever they call it. This was from a bracelet that somebody had run over and they, it was busted. Like all these little gemstones were everywhere. And I happened to pick it up and it says 925. Found this piece. Yeah. This earring I found in a parking lot. The back was ripped off, but it says 925 on the little claspy thing. I also found this little charm. This is also 925. I always, like, I get dizzy sometimes because I also found this one, another 925. I found that in the sand out behind one of Eric's jobs. I was just kicking the sand around and there goes an earring. Um, a lot of the stuff that I find, like most of this stuff over here and most of this stuff over here I have found on the ground because I always have my head down. I know it's not a good thing but it's what I do and I have been really uh, lucky in finding stuff on the ground. So if I were to take this silver and gold in right now, $40 on the silver with all my gold, including the stuff I know I wouldn't get rid of, $660. So we're looking at $700 in melt value of the gold and silver that I have. So I'm guessing maybe if I'm really lucky, I would get about half of that. So about $350. I don't know. I mean, if I was really, really desperate or I really needed it for something, maybe I would. But even though we, we're not doing great right now, I still feel like I would like to hold off. Especially if the gold and silver keep rising the way that it is. I've watched it over the last 48 hours and it's definitely been going up. It looked like it was going to take a very, very steep jump. And I was kind of hoping for that. I was hoping maybe it would reach the 2012 price of uh, over $1,600 an ounce. And then maybe I would consider selling off some of this junk stuff that I just found on the ground. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to kind of do that and, um, and share it with you guys as I was doing it. Uh, I hope you guys have been fortunate enough to save up something. I think maybe I would like to go out yard selling and maybe look around uh, for broken pieces of jewelry now that, you know, it's going up. Well, I mean, I like to do it anyway, but maybe we'll go out and do that this Sunday if he's off work. I'm off work. Um, also, I think I'm fixing to take the metal detector outside and uh, dig around a bit and maybe I'll get lucky and find some silver or gold in my backyard. And if I get the courage up, I am thinking about asking our local flea market for permission to metal detect in the um, metal detect the, the yard, the flea market area. I'm pretty sure that I would be able to find some good stuff there because um, this little piece of jewelry that I found, I uh, told you about. I found that's where I, I found this that was in the dirt um, at the flea market and um, 
I know that there was a gentleman who used to sell off costume jewelry and I was able to pull some sterling silver pieces out of there so maybe I could find some something good at the flea market if I get the courage up to do that that would be pretty cool I also know this piece um, this here is gold this piece of this necklace but I'm not gonna take it apart just to get that it's also got some real pearl on here I thought that was pretty cool this was a gift from someone anyway all right guys 20 minute long video wow how does that happen I guess I'm going to go now and then I've talked your ear off and I'm going to go detect my yard for a little bit before I go into work uh, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time bye